but we'll start those tomorrow. Tomorrow is the, if you're going to be absent tomorrow, come see me today. Tomorrow is the, uh, is the deadline for those. So if you're going to be out, please come see me sometime uh, today. So we can go ahead and go ahead and get those done. Um, if you have not, it's a few of us that have to go in and sign off on all of our walkthroughs and, and formatives or one or two. So please go in and check the uh, Teach platform and make sure that you've signed off on, on all of your walkthroughs and formatives. Uh, uh, start getting your grade books. You know, we got to turn that. We had that conversation uh, last year. We have our, um, this is in your handbook, the checkout form. Y'all know the form, so be re-familiarizing yourself with this so there will be no issues when it comes time to, uh, for you to check out. And the only thing that we have that we had a little bit of uh, confusion on was the grade book, but we cleared that up, you know. So you have to be able to turn that in so that if you're not here over the summer and there's some type of question about something, we don't have to interrupt your vacation to answer some kind of question. In that grade book, it, it needs to be what the, what the, um, you know, if I'm looking at your grade book, I have to be able to know what the item is that I'm looking at. So don't put no cold words, you know, um, you know, it needs to be, if it's, um, if it's uh, Cold War, the only reason I remember the Mr. Rash just got to talk about the Cold War, yes, if it's Cold War worksheet number one, it needs to say Cold War Worksheet Number One. So that way, if there's something by there that the teacher has, or the parent, or anyone has a question about, when I go to that book, I need to be able to look at that. And y'all do, y'all do a good job of, of putting that into into the campus. But no cold words, no, um, you know, just home, you know, homework. You know, I need more than that. You know, we need to know, I know math, I can get them put integers or, or qualities or whatever. I'm not going to talk too much. I don't explain my ignorance in that. But y'all understand what I'm saying. I have to be able to talk so I wouldn't have to, so I won't uh, have to disturb you on your holidays. Um, summer work, uh, those of us that issue summer work, we're going to have a meeting. So be gathering your summer work. We did this several years ago. And we can look at summer work, look at the summer contracts, and make sure that um, the summer contracts are worded like we want to word them, and the summer <coughs> contracts are worded so we can enforce them. So we'll, we'll look at that at that time. I think we did it years. We were in the old building the last time we kind of came together and looked at summer work. I will be sending out the um, the uh, uh, projections to the department so that you can you can uh, start getting into uh, what it is that you would like to teach uh, next year. So I'll be sending them out probably today so y'all can you know get that back to me. And then if there's any adjustments need to be made. Now some of y'all I, I just by conversation or whatever we made some adjustments, and if it's something that you have a question about, please feel free to come and see me. All right, anything else that I have not mentioned? Anything with the seniors? Oh, if you, no surprises. Okay, I've been meeting with, I've been calling in seniors, calling senior parents, meeting with senior parents. If you have one that's not doing what they're supposed to, Please send me an email. All right, we can't have no surprises next week. Okay, so if you have one that's not doing what they're supposed to or they playing around, please send me an email so I can get their parents in here um, and, and, and meet with them. I talk to them, we bring the student up, I pull up Infinite Campus, and I go down Infinite Campus. If you have not updated your Infinite Campus, please update your Infinite Campus so that we're I'm looking at factual stuff. We can't have some roll up in here on Wednesday of next week and all of a sudden there's a 68 or something like that. 
I mean, that's, we don't want no surprises. Y'all know that. I, I, we try to get ahead of this with these seniors. If they're not doing it, they're not doing it. But I don't want a parent saying they didn't, they didn't know. Because they're talking to me, I'm talking to them personally, especially with these, with these seniors, okay? Um, you know, we got exams coming up. Uh, Ms. Ingram will set out the exam schedule. Uh, we still have the early release um, on, that, on that Wednesday like we did at the semester. So we almost kind of following the same exam schedule that we did at the uh, semester, okay? Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Are y'all gonna send out the, um, or do you know when you're sending out the exemption? Um, <coughs> Kids are asking about when they'll know what they're exempt, able to exempt. Uh, the exemption list? Yes. Yeah. Did we send out an exemption list? Mm -hmm. Before we get to the whole list, we have to come back earlier. Right, 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 right. Well, whatever that is, I need to find out who sends it out. It's Oh, it's Jack. Okay, I'll get with her. Which uh, okay. I emailed the senior English teachers and even economics teachers teachers the protocol for the students about senior picnic if you need that information again let me know it's just some things that they need to know and instead of trying to call them into a meeting coach gray said to just email it about what they can wear and what not to bring with them so and please read that to them um, daily they get amnesia <laughs> they, be about they didn't know they be talking about they, they, nobody told them y'all know y'all know Y'all know how they do. So read it to them daily. Well, I was absent that day. And all you see, please, when you start class, read it to them daily. That way is no excuses. Please do that for me. Ms. Miller, will you email that to me? I'll just say I will. And I'll yeah, just email it to everybody. everybody. Okay. Y'all sure. just have to have seniors and y'all talking to them. Remind them. And that way it's covered throughout the uh, throughout the school. Yesterday we saw 199 students that got physical. We only had about four or five that were not clear. Um, if you'll just email me if you have any suggestions to make it run smoother next year, but I thought it went pretty good, but I wasn't in the classroom to know how disruptive it was there. They kind of come in, they went through, they had their passes and they came back out. That's what I saw. I, just send me an email. There was no disruptions. <laughs> that was very, very smooth. Thank you for spearheading that. Uh, you know, we try to do as much as we can while we have the students here. It saved us um, from coming on a Saturday and spending uh, three quarters of the day on a Saturday, and it went went very smooth. So hopefully that'll be. And the way they serve our work. area. They go to, out to other schools as well. Jeffersons. They go to Twigs. Um, it's community health services, and they. We're very appreciative of us letting us come in and how well things were organized. And our kids, they started on Monday. These kids were so nice. They all said, thank you, yes ma'am, no ma'am. And then Tuesday, same thing. So we go to the hospital park. And every day, they were like, I can't believe how well mattered these kids are. It, it makes it you know, that much easier to come in and do this work. Absolutely. I went down there and thanked them all for, for uh, Come to doing that, but that is a huge service. Uh, I went home yesterday and asked my daughter, I said, you need to take a visit with me. Yes, sir. I said, okay. She'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> She'll forget. But uh, she got it done. So as a so as a parent, I was really appreciative of that of that service as well. Anything else? Of course, concert is at night. Y'all know it's always a big blowout. I'll be there. Um, Trey always adds some metric. He got lights coming from the from the ceiling, and I don't even know how he do it. But they work. He got them on, so they go from the ceiling, and y'all know he'll have blinking, and people be flying everywhere, <laughs> you know, and all of that'll be going on at night. And uh, y'all know you get there because it, it's always normally full. Um, thank goodness we do have a. Larger auditorium, but uh, so so let's come out and <coughs> support that. Um, anything else? I think it's missing in your contracts, though. Oh yeah, make sure you get your contracts. Um, they're in there. Make sure you pick up your contracts. Uh, 
um, because y'all know you, you got the whole 10 day thing and, and, and you, we get them turned in. And then, but if there's any changes going on, <coughs> um, when you look at it, just let Ms. Smith know and we'll resubmit. I think I caught most of the changes, but there may be some that I, there may be some that I so right. just let me know and we'll make an adjustment. We just know we put a rise another. Ms. Bryson or Ms. K. They they will know the rise. Anything else? All right, thank you so much. Let's, let's